and we are back once again with Starfield. So last time we battled some of the aliens to keep one of our pieces. Uh, we got at least like one new power. We made a deal with uh, what's his name? I, I forget what the other company man is. But yeah, we did a deal with him to get a piece of the artifact. And so, yeah, quite a bit of stuff has happened. And we're trying to figure out why these aliens are trying to stop us from getting uh, all the sword. pieces. One too many squats. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. I'm ready. Give me any down on the artifacts you have. Hey, artifacts you think I'm not sure I want to follow these up yet. Uh, give me that on Double artifacts. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous. Even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Go to Podius and go to Margaris. Okay, where is everyone? What's up, Stroud? I thought some people wanted to talk to me. Bed owned. Yeah, everyone's wanting some sleep after a nice hard day's work. Star locked hundred forty. I wonder where Sarah is. Oh, my battery is low. Hey, how are you? I'm good, Cora. Where's your poppy? Your papa. The well. Yep, I already stole that suit. I'm like, yoink! I can't believe you can steal all these tools, but you can't even use those as weapons. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just head straight to space. First, before that, I need some more tech. Destroy 30 more ships. Payloads. Robotics. Engine systems. All ships repair 10% faster. Starship design. I know I need this. Install five unique ship modules. Alright, well, let's uh go wherever. Missions. Kill the pirates. Outside of mass. Rook's meeting. To one of his. You need to go to Europa.
deputized. To find and bring back any events. Okay, let me do do these. I want to do a little bit of this right now. All right, Europa. I have something you might be interested in. Look who finally had the guts to show up. So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Damn right I am. Adler said what? I didn't know he cared. Didn't I already prove myself? Damn right I am. You bet your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. And if you get through this little task I have planned for you, there's a medical supply ship called the Ragana jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Consider it done. What options do I have to complete? Why not? Why not ship with actual loot? Consider it done. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. This Neva Mora, her words are measured and carry weight. She is not to be trifled with. Why do you want, uh, is on Ragana? I've been tracking Rick for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's as soon as he did. Look like a fool in front of Delgado. God damn. Rake used to run with the fleet. Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner too. Brought in a ton of cred. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody, I mean nobody, runs away from the fleet. Hmm. All right. Well, we're good. So he's on Ragana. So that. Destroy Ragana. Set course. near and Clodius oh, is that the ship then boy do I have some you have a crewman on board I'm looking for. It looks like trouble found you. You have a crewman right. on board I'm looking for. And what are your intentions with this crewman? The fleet wants us. I like to board your ship and talk how to spare him. Oh, I'm for it. I only have one demand. I kill. Uh, let's see. for you to take this offer it shows more mercy than you know well normally i would say no but frankly it will be safer for us that way all right you can talk we will talk then 
All right, let's dock. Docking each other. If you are free soon, could we talk and have a few rebels? Yes, I know you're in love with me. God damn, girls. And we are locked in. Yes, what do you want to talk? I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? The artifacts mean something. It's important to find... <laughs> Sarah, you're in the way! Oh, they need my help. There isn't much else going on this week. I love a good mystery. One that, hopefully, will soon be solved. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. You've got a reason to get out of bed and more. I think the goals is important. Uh, why does Constellation mean? Hopefully you leave little time for fun too. Yeah, I think she should be having fun. Fun is not a consideration. I am not saying I am incapable of it. It just it should never be a priority over other things. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. It's very different then. There's no way to know what someone else is going through. You think people need a struggle to live? There's no way to know what someone's going you through. You believe I am too quick to judge. Perhaps that is so. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. You've obviously been through a lot. Feeling sorry for yourself never helped anyone. I'm sorry your life has been hard. you obviously been through a lot. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies or the Free Star Collective. My parents and their parents before them did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. Getting by your own is admirable. It's not a life I choose for myself. Like a terrible way to live? Why did your family insist on independence? They believed, and still do, that anyone who was not part of our family did not share our values, our goals, and was ultimately a potential threat. My time in the settled systems has mostly led me to agree with them. Hmm. I see. Kind of sounds like a cult or a political party. Ah, uh, I mean, both are the same anyway. It's <laughs> like I choose to for myself. Sounds like a terrible way. Hmm. It's not a life I choose for myself. Uh, sounds like a terrible way to live. Difficult, yes. But not terrible. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. I have... Things I wish to discuss with Jesus you. Christ, girl. When you have time. Alright, well. First, I gotta talk to these people. 
glimpse. <laughs> They're all ready to fight. I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. I don't know who's listening over the comms. This is safer. I want to use Austin Reich. That's not something I'm going to do. Not until you reveal your intentions. Just want to make sure there wasn't any real loot on board. Our cargo is valuable, but not the way you mean. It's medical supplies. You don't want somebody. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? The fleet want Rick dead. So, on the side, without violence. Kill him and let you go. Why risk your lives to protect future unclear? Which one is Rick? Do you? I will not murder a man in cold blood. You will have to kill us all first. All right. You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. As long as he agrees to turn himself in, deliver himself, fleet, find out about this, we're both exposed. Won't buy that. Someone may need to die after all. As long as he agrees to turn himself, deliver. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well, so I'm then, guessing that's Rake. You go back to your ship, and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Jesus, what do you want to say? Never would I have imagined to encounter something like the Starborn. Now I feel that rather than having answers, we only have more questions. It's really incredible, isn't it? I always knew there was something out there. We shouldn't be surprised. Space is so vast. I couldn't imagine. Y yeah. I suppose this proves that idea succinctly. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. They're clearly trying to scare us away from something. Uh, no one's going to stop us. We've come this far. More of a warning. Yeah, they're trying to scare us away. If so, what would that be? Clearly, the Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. Did they make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. Mm, we need to find more of the artifacts, only lead we have. Things are going. You're not worried, are you? If we keep going, I suspect we're going to run into more Starborn. Yes. Given our first interaction with them, that seems likely. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. We should return to our search then. There is still so much to do. All right. I guess Sarah went back on the ship. Uh, cockpit. Let's see, undock. Nice, clean step there. Nice. 
<sighs> Sons of bitches are already leaving. Turn to Europa's orbit. Damn. Damn, they killed him. I, I, I wanted to just shoot him a bit more. What's up? Talk to me. Damn, that's a pretty big ship. Who exactly is ecliptic? Why were you attacked by ecliptic? You know what? I have no idea and it's frustrating the hell out of me. I suppose I could have pissed off someone I screwed over in the past, but there's been so many, I've lost count. Okay, Austin Rick is dead. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Cause I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, you're I'm dead. Send someone after you. It's about damn time. Best decision you ever made. It's about damn time. I don't respond well to threats. You better stow that crap before you make me change my mind. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Joining the Crimson Fleet is hardly a cause for celebration. But you have your reasons. So for now, I will allow it. Jesus Christ, girl. I swear. We are doing this because... What's his name wants us to join? So I not understanding why she's being such a pain in the ass. 
show on the map, set course. Yep, we gotta go back to the vigilance. Hail Doc. And you didn't even scratch the paint. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Is, Hello. Is that how the saying goes? How can I be of service, Captain? Yo, talk to me. What, what the fuck are you? I hope I'll be able to see him next time on the shore. What? What's he busy? Oh, are we just following him? Oh. I was like, why is he not talking to me? Hello. We have anything to report? We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. I'm glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anyone, innocent or otherwise. I would have been fine killing him, but I didn't want to traumatize the crew. I risked my cover to do it. Any point in trying... Any point in trying to get Rake to give up information on the crew? That's something we're like, looking into. But it doesn't seem like he knows much. He might be better served as bait. For now, we'll keep him in the brig. Perhaps you could pay him a visit there sometime? I'm sure he'd be pleased to see you. Guys, okay, I don't want to kill anyone innocent or otherwise. But I don't want to traumatize the crew. That was quick thinking on your part. Selfless and creative. Our regular agents can be a little too rigid. Because they're trained to follow orders. Is that not part of why we were chosen for the mission in the first place? Oh, I was chosen. We move on. Not them. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. That was a risk. That was a clever way to ensure. That was just, I could have died out there. No problem attacking the Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. But yeah, that is pretty clever. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? I passed my initial test, but the fleet, uh, it was a miracle. I don't want to jinx myself. It's a miracle. The whole thing worked. Seems, does seem like I passed my initial test. Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Sierra show was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Everything's going, uh, those idiots unsuspected thing. What do you know about Nevo? The woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon's street rats, and worked her way up to second in command. She's a force to be reckoned with, so don't underestimate her. Hmm, everything's going according to plan. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So, what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Never wanted to meet near Europa again. 
I was told to me. Shouldn't I get off the village before my cupboard is blown? The Vigilance is equipped with one of the most advanced intelligence suites in the UC fleet. Nothing slips through. You can rest assured, if the Crimson Fleet had any access to our whereabouts or had infiltrated our security, we'd know. As long as you're here, your identity is safe. Mm. At the key. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna report. Excellent. If you're heading to the key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. What is there to know? He is pirate scum. Like all of them. <laughs> exactly. The Crimson Fleet is not a monolith. Any information you have on its members can only help. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Alright. Oh, that, that went alright. The Regana made it to port with zero casualties. Yep, I didn't have to kill anyone. <clears throat> why did they just bring out their gun randomly? Also, is most people here, like, bald? Captain Rex, greetings. I swear to God, she keeps pulling out her gun. Alright, undock. Normalizing, undocking complete. Mm. I kind of want to see what would happen if I tried to fight this ship. Hold on. Let's just quick save real quick. What? How? Oh, it's a level 100. God damn. Hold on. Let, let me fire at it again. I can't take him down. Damn. Absolutely wrecked me. Alright. I wonder if you can actually take this thing down, though. Uh, I would love to somehow be able to capture it. Wait, what? A mission? Somewhere? Oh, there's the key. Yeah, no. I want to do that right now. Let's see. A narrative. Destroy a Crimson Fleet Reaper. Let's go deal with these real quick.
Okay. So, I need to find it wherever it is. Set course. I guess that's the ship. Plenty of marks to go around. It's a good time to be a pirate. Okay, so what happens if I try and fight him? Ah, damn it. Marseille. There we go. Crab jump is back online. <laughs> Damn. Now, now I have a bounty from uh what's their name? Like fuck. Fuck. That's photo mode. My hull is injured. Oh shit. Yeah, let's uh let's wait a little bit before we try and do all that again. Oh man. Oh, eclipse. Let's go to Mysterious Ship. There seems to be a mission here. We have a clean dock right on the money. 
boards. In our own ship. I outrank so attacking on your asshole. So look alive. Just in time. Don't be shy. Hello. What's going on here? Hold it right there. Hands where I can see him. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? I'm Operative Rex. Looks like you could use a hand. Uh, it depends on what's going on. Is that a threat? You can't tell? Alright, I'm Operative Rex. Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Combata. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That thing over there. It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Uh. They are going to change me. Wow. How does it know that? How does it know that? Well, I mean, what the hell else are we going to do to it? So, yeah, man. Time sure really does fly from 2023 all the way to whenever this is. Like, damn, hundreds of years into the future and we're still dealing with AI. It's sentient? Exactly, which makes it so fascinating. Does Ryujin create this AI? If only. Something like that. It appears to have stumbled upon it. We have this control board. It has some code. Uh, AI sentient? Yeah, exactly. Which is what makes this so fascinating. And profitable for whoever can figure out how it works. Does Ryujin create this AI? If only. Now, this isn't something that anyone could create. This is something special. Appears I've stumbled on into a Ryujin project. Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Uh, I'm not sure about all this. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? How do I know it won't end up killing me like your dead friend over there? So the prob and if I say no, pretty much there's a way to end like our friend over there. Uh, let's see well, this one. what are the chances that'll happen twice? You do it. I just got one more week until my sabbatical, and I have zero interest in dying before I get to Paradiso. Well, that'd be a much more certain way to end up like our friend over there. My partner is damn. The I thought this dude was the chill one. Yeah, I thought this guy was the chill one and the other one was the dickhead, but no, apparently they're both dickheads. Let's keep things simple for us. You can do it. I got just one more week until my sabbatical, and I have zero interest in dying before I get to Paradiso. Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Well, since you put it that way, I better take it. You better take it, and you better do what I say. But I guess I'll take it for now. Hmm, take it and don't do anything stupid. Here, you'd make the smart choice. Here. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Request. 
Collect additional data. Talk to Juno. Anything around here? Door inaccessible. Damn, this is a big ship. Fuck, I accidentally picked that up. I'm guessing these are all the creators that were making Juno. Skill is too low for Master Lock. You have a job okay. to do. Query. Will you change me? Depends. I'm still figuring out what's going on. So I'll just let and get to know each other. Region will pay me if I attach this board. Help calm you down. Let's all slow down and get to know each other. Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? My name is Rex. Nice to meet you. You're worried that these men are gonna hurt you? I'm here to help. Relax, this will be over. Hello, Juno. I'm Rex. Thanks. Assumption. You. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. I understand, Juno. I don't want to be changed either, but I need to ask you a few questions so I can help. Explanation. You and I do not want to be changed. Request. Do not change me. You're an artificial tense. Did someone program you? Uh... You didn't do all this yourself. Who hooked you up, Juno? Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Did someone program you? Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Correction. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. I'm guessing Juno was the project name which she used to be, but now she is the person Juno instead of the project. So she was made by NASA. I'm guessing this is one of those like projects that NASA currently does where they send stuff into space. So either she was a AI they sent into space to like tell aliens about our civilization or maybe an AI to learn in space by itself and see what would happen in the future and what the AI would have learned like thousands or hundreds of years into the future. Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. I made up my mind. You're an artificial intelligence. Yeah, uh, okay. Answer. Artificial. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Alright, that's a little bit of a woke answer, Juno. You are clearly artificial intelligence. 
But everything else, I understand. You are a person. And I have made up my mind. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. Even if we are not capable or ready to define Juno as a being, it seems premature to make any changes. Uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush. This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query. What is your decision? Actually, I'm still trying to work through this. Can I ask you some questions? Hmm. I made up my mind. Request. Query. Person. Own thoughts, True. desires. I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being. A good person. I never gave much of that, actually. I wouldn't know. I'm not a very good person. Honestly, I don't answer that. I guess to do your best to do good things. And if you fail, just keep trying. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Now she's asking the big questions. I don't know. Ultimately, I think it's still about learning love. Someone for humans grow spiritually. For you, I'm not sure. Existence is an accident and we give up. There's no purpose. Just relax and enjoy your time here. What's the I think it's about? Uh, there's no purpose to existence. For humans, it's to grow spiritually. I guess the last one. Calculation. Existence is accidental. Assumption. Humans find enjoyment taking actions that satisfy biological, emotional, social, or mental desire. Clarification. Desires based on need. Context. Juno is programmed with desire to collect, store, analyze, and report data. Clarification. I am called Juno. Context. I have no desires. Calculation. I am incapable of joy. Enough of this nonsense! Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. Crazy, right? Fascinating, isn't it? It certainly is convincing. Fascinating or not, we have a job to do. You're All not right. taking that thing's side, are you? Oh, I'll do it. I'm just getting paid to risk my life. I just want to be sure I'm getting paid and refuse to do it. It didn't seem right. Juno deserves freedom, and if I refuse to do it... It should be clear by now that you are in no position to refuse. It doesn't seem right. Juno deserves freedom. freedom. It's a malfunctioning machine. It doesn't need freedom any more than a broken data slate needs freedom. <laughs> and here I thought you'd lost your sense of humor. I'm always up for a good debate. Uh, for... F uh, fine. I'll give you one, one shot to try to convince me. Therapy's working. <sighs> project has red flags call it a day and I'll file a report you guys drink somewhere on me you aren't wrong I could use a drink but these orders are from the top do we really want to be involved in something likely to be so controversial remember our last little project I still have carpal tunnel from typing all those reports and dodging and weaving our way out of getting screwed by that we lost a ship and the tech no one will blame us if we walk away from this 
And even if they do, we won't be blamed for whatever disaster would ensue if we did drag this thing back to HQ. There's no guarantee that Control Board will even work like they want. What if it makes it more powerful and more angry? Calm down. I'm thinking. All right, listen. We'll accidentally check a few wrong boxes on the situation report and forget any of this happened. But give me that control board. I'm not getting docked for losing that. Also, we'll need a lift back to Neon. Please and thank you. Of course I wouldn't have you stranded. It'd be cramped, but sure. You should see my apartment. I'm used to cramped. You're used to squalor. That was one week years ago, and I was going through something, and you know it. Let's get moving. Thanks for the lift. These guys kind of seem like a couple. I don't know. They're kind of giving bad. a little bit of sexual energy. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Query, why did you do that? You deserve whatever you want. I like you. Those guys were jerks. Not sure. Sometimes I just do things. Yeah, you deserve whatever you want to be. Clarification. I want to be processing me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? If I was like you, I explored and learned as much as I could. I try and protect people, help them whenever I could. I put guns on the ship, flying around wherever I. <laughs> we'll figure that out ourselves. I can't tell you what to do with that. We'll figure it out ourselves. I protect people. Uh, let's explore the universe. If I was like you, explore the universe, or I can't tell you what to do. Trying things until something feels right. Yep, I think that's right. I will consider this course of action. I processing. Processing. Warning. Systems badly damaged. Processing course overheating. Decision. Temporarily shut down extraneous systems until stability restored. Goodbye, Juno. Hope to see you around. We are parting requests. Be assume assumption. Context. Jump detected. Request. Be safe. Assumption. We will meet again. Warning. Shut down sequence initiated. Deliver the operatives to me up. I'm glad that's finally resolved. Alright, now everyone get the fuck out of the way so we can leave. Uh cuck. Damn, I am super injured. Uh undock. So is Juno leaving? Is he just gonna be floating here in space? Alright, well, I guess that's where she goes. Also, I need to repair my ship. So that'll be fine. Let me get out. I want to see where these guys are on my ship. There's her. I really wish you could go down onto the other place. I do not know what happened to her. Only one body. Could be worse. Alright, 
and there's fan. I heard you're fluent in over two dozen verbal and body languages. Alright, well, anyway, I think that's where I'll end it here for today. Yeah, we did a few things here and there, made a tiny bit of progress. A med pack right here. Yeah, and with that, I think we'll end it. Uh, yeah, we did mostly small little missions and progressed that Crimson Fleet side mission. Although, I don't know how they're going to react to me considering I attacked a couple of Crimson Fleet, like, pirates. So, I don't know if I'll be able to be forgiven or if they're going to always want to fight me now. I really wish there was a way that you can get into fights and as long as you kill everyone that like sees you fighting, you're not like wanted or fined. So it's like I could have killed all those guys and there would have been no survivors to tell that I was attacking Crimson Fleet ships. But ah, uh, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Starfield. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my D Live, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to uh, check out my second YouTube channel and like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, where my streams, videos, or anything else. I yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Bye.